Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the final truck for this week's sneak peek. So if you haven't got in and voted for any of the other trucks, this one here may be uh, to your liking. So this is the Kenworth K100 version 5, the very latest version of the K100. And if I saw this, if this was out a couple of weeks ago, I would have done the BJ and the Bear skin for this one instead because of all the stuff that you can do with it. Uh, now we're down at the DAF truck dealer in Zurich, which is where you can get this one. And as you can see, there is a heap of attention done to this. Now this was done by, the original truck was done by Laser Truck. Then it was modified by uh, Stas 556, Dimitri, and Oleg Conte. And also the sounds were done by Croachmum. So these guys here, as you know, are, if you've watched a lot of my other videos, these guys are my favorite modders from Euro Trucks. So this is why I couldn't turn this one down uh, when, I see it, when I saw it. Even though I've done this one before, I have did this November last year, uh, I had to do it again because it is very very well done okay so let's jump into customized configuration and check it out now this one here is the standard if we go into the cabins here you'll see that that's standard and then there's the aerodyne one so this is the one from BJ and the bear now what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to quickly show you the differences between the two of them so we're going to select that one first and then we go up to the chassis, there's only one chassis for this one. But if we go back to here, there is two chassis. Okay, so there's two for those. So that's really cool how they've done that. And then we go off to the engines and for both chassis there is the standard engine. So you get a choice of very wide selection there. Uh, we've got the CAT, the, uh, the ISX there, the uh, from 370. Oh, there's the Packer. 370 all the way down to the C15 600, uh, which is 600 horsepower. Uh, don't see the king of the hill in here, but that's all right. No problems. It's uh, only well, this king of the hill is 620, so, but that's all right. That's fine. Um, we can stick with the the Pack RMX 13500 for now. Now for gearboxes, there is a large selection, and this is what I love: a large selection. You've got the 10 speed, you've got the 13 speed, you've got the 10 speed BR, I'm not sure what the difference is there. And you've got an 18 speed, and then also a 13 speed again with retarder. So, oh sorry, that's what that is, that's the 10 speed with retarder. Ugh, silly me. Okay, so what I'm going to pick is the actual, let's go the 13 speed. Okay, now uh, if I was carrying a larger load, I'd be using the 18 speed, but no, just for around town, it's 13 speed. Now for the interior. Now this is very well done. Look at the modeling. I mean, I've always liked the modeling in this, for this skin. Uh, now, here is the actual, the guys in here, there's a guy looking at you and it's like really weird. It spins you out. It's like, whoa, dude, he's just staring at you. Really weird. It's... So you just turn around, driving along, you turn around and you go, oh, oh, oh geez, <laughs> it scared the crap out of you. But if we have a look at the modeling and the detail in here, you can see even in the roof here, now I'm not sure, is that a texture or is that an actual model? I'd say it's a model, the way they've modeled it, and it's very well done, very well done indeed. Um, around here, see the, the corners are really well done, steering wheel's really well done, and... I mean, this guy here, he's looking like he's just reaching for a CD. Um, but that is really well done. Hey, whoa, there's a gun on the bench there. Jeez, it must be rough over there in America. Um, smashed window. That's interesting. Um, but you can also go and you can click on that one there, which takes it out and just, you know, just that there, which is cool as well. I think I like this one here. I'm going to put that one on. That is good. Now, uh, for colors, you can actually just, there is a, a wide selection of colors. 
So there is the uh, Deep Ocean, the Perfect White, the Scorpio Red, the Snow White, Alpine White. Uh, look, it just keeps going. There's reds, there's greys, there's more reds. What's the difference between that one and that one? Very little. Uh, look, there's tons and 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 tons of colours. I also left in here the BJ and the Bear skin that I did for the, uh, the hanky version of this truck. But this is what happens, guys. The mapping is all over the place. So if I can get a template for this one, then I can actually change the mapping for it and remap it for this truck. It wouldn't be too much of a, of a problem because most of it's already there. So um, I might see if I can do that because uh, I like this one too. But uh, look, now we go on to the actual... Ex oh, no, we want to change that color. Get rid of that. That looks rubbish. So I just thought I'd show you that so that you could see that you can't actually use that um, that on there. What about a yellow? What do we got? Uh, yellow? No, that looks rubbish. Uh, polar white. We'll go with polar white, shall we? Uh, we'll have a look at metallics in the other one. So now we go on to the actual customization, so the accessories. Now, here we are for the bull bars, and you get a wide selection. And this is why I like this one better than the other one I chose before. Because it's got the chrome bumper that matches for the BJ and the Bear. And if that skin there is more like BJ and the Bear than what the actual one that I used was. So I thought it was going to be, you know, pretty damn close with both of them. But no, it's this one's better. So anyway, uh, they're both very good anyway. So um, there we go. You can choose a whole heap of different bull bars for there. There's uh, the painted bull bars and um, chrome. We love the chrome. Um, for this one, I'm going to stick the chrome on there and I'm going to chuck on a set of spotlights on the front there. There we go. And no, I'll leave that one there. What else can you put on there? No, just little lights. No, but you can go to town on all these lights and that and have heaps of fun. Now, I'm not sure what that is there. I think that's... Something. Oh, that's the driver. That's right. So if you can take... No? No, he's stuck there. All right. I thought you could take him out, but no. Uh, then we go off to the mirrors, and there's only the chrome. I don't know why you'd want anything else with this truck, to be honest. Really, it is just brilliant the way it is. Now we've got the sun visor, and you can go chrome or paint. Chrome for me for this one. Thank you. And we just slapped a couple of horns on there. You can change them both to lights if you wish. Now, um, up to the top here, you can put your beacon light, which is what I've done there. And then you can go for here. You can change the spoiler or whatever. Now, uh, what I'll quickly do is we'll put on this here, which is the side skirts, which looks pretty damn cool. And then over here, you can actually put on the, you know, the little guards and stuff like that. But I'm actually going to leave it like that for this one. Now, since that's everything for this one, let's jump back to the actual standard and then go back to here. Everything else is pretty much the same except for the, you know, the chassis and stuff like that. So we can change to that chassis there. And I will, will apologize. I got a bit of hay fever this morning because it's uh, winter here, almost winter here in, in Australia. So I get a bit of hay fever. So you can change the bumpers, you can change, oh, I don't know what that is again. Uh, you can put that on there the for the top. Yes, we want that. Uh, yes, we want that there. Now, here it changes something else as well. It's the actual top part here. And that, I like that spoiler paint there. That looks pretty cool. And then you put on the actual, the, yeah, the retarded, uh, not retarded, the beacon for crying out loud. And then here you can actually choose the, you know, guards on the back. Now, I like that one for this. Now, if we change the chassis, okay, we go back here again. We can keep all of that the same and we click on there and, you know, we can change that and that there. Also, also, we can put on the side skirts as well. So there's a lot to play with in this, you know, it makes it really cool of what you can actually do. So, and with the tires, we've 
with the rims for all of them, the selections, you can choose the K100-1 or the K100-2. Uh, me being me, I'm going the K100-2 because it's got a ton of chrome in there. Love the chrome. So, there we go. And why not? Let's chuck on some runners. There are some other tires here as well, but they don't really make much of a difference. I mean, if we zoom in, you might be able to see it a little bit. But I don't think there's much of a difference. I don't know. Uh, might be just tread it changes. I, I don't know. Not sure. But anyway, um, I'm going to stick the runners on. Because I think with heaps of chrome, and that looks really good with runners. So, there we go. That is what I'm going to drive around with for now. And look at the detail. That is absolutely awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, uh, let's jump in there, and you can't actually change anything too much in here. Um, that's, yeah, for outside, but that's okay. Look, we've got everything we need anyway, so look, let's go confirm, and we will go trade in from the last mod, and yes, thank you very much, and let's have a look on the outside. Okay, so here we are on the outside at the Daft Dealer. Now, let's have a look, and look at that chrome. It is beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, looking for gaps and holes. There is some there, but they're meant to be there. Um, that chrome looks absolutely brilliant. Look at the detail in there. There's that creepy guy sitting next to you again. <laughs> um, then, what do we got over here? No, that's all good. That's great. Wow, that looks awesome. See, look at the detail on there. I just can't get over the amount of detail that's been put into this. It is really brilliant. Now, the custom sounds for this that Kreutzmann did, um, I can't remember what he said they came from. I think he said it came from a, a, a Scania. But look, it still sounds good. That sounds pretty damn cool to me. That That is really, really nice. Okay, so let's jump inside and we will go for a drive. Now, just fix my steering wheel up because it likes to play up all the time. And I've got my... Uh, if you wonder why the steering wheel's wobbling, I've got the force feedback hooked up now on this. Alright, let's take that up a gear. So, there we go. Uh, now we need to, let's just turn here this way so it's out of the road. Oh, this is still so nice to drive. Oh, listen to that. That is beautiful. Oh, I haven't got my mirror on. There we go. Oh, listen to that. Whoops, whoops. That car bumped into us. Oh, I saw it. The car bumped into us. <laughs> um, just going to turn around the corner here and go to the service center. Oh, this is so nice. So nice to drive. And then we'll um, just go up here. The indicators are not dis deactivating. I think it might. I wonder if it's me that's doing that or what. Braking is really, really, really touchy without a trailer on. But... Um, Last time I remember it was really good, but it's, it's, look at it, it's really good. There's that guy, he's busy on the notebook looking at uh, Facebook by the looks of it. Um, oh man, look at it, this feels awesome driving this, it really does. I think if you love, just, I, I think just, if you're a truck fan, you must try this. It is really, really good. Okay, let's have a look and see what extras we get. So quickly jump in here to the upgrade. There won't be much in here. Um, paint jobs and stuff like that. Uh, BJ and the bear skin is not included in this, guys. Um, no, that is it. There is no extras. No extras at all. So let's go have a look at the paint. Now, what extra paint do we get? We do get custom metallics. Oh yeah, look at that. And we get the custom colors here and that works great. Custom metallics, that's nice. That is really, really nice, that is. In gold, oh, 
golden chrome looks brilliant right let's check out the actual uh, metallics I can see two colors there working straight away and what color should we do this let's try let's try a deep burgundy sort of color yes that one is working and we'll go there and for the white yes that one's working too so we got a deep sort of maroon red sort of color to match this sort of truck in that era that looks pretty cool what about what about if we did something crazy and we went to we click on that one there and we went to if I can get the handles to go blue that doesn't look too bad there's green no not not really green yellow no looks more of a gold no I think red burgundy maroni sort of color definitely for this yes that's it definite right select that oh yeah oh yeah I'm very excited to drive this one right let's go for another drive shall we we'll try and spin it's got a nice turning circle we're gonna miss that truck yes oh listen to the sound and you'll notice that the actual sounds are a lot lot louder now and again I'll repeat I did this said this the other day but uh, I did increase the volume and if any of you are unsure on how I actually did that uh, I can show you on how to do that just give me a, a note in the comments below and we'll uh, take a look at that for you so here we go and listen to that wow that's awesome that is really really nice I love the sound of that that is absolutely brilliant. The guy's not hanging onto the steering wheel though. That's a shame. <laughs> he should be, uh, I would have thought he would have been animated. So he's steering with his knees like uh, old school. Like uh, my father, when uh, my father when I was young, he did that when we went on trips. Showed me how to steer with your knees. So senior, senior, he told me how to, he told me how to, taught me how to steer with my knees. <laughs> while eating a sandwich which is really bad these days to do but <laughs> it was funny back then oh uh, anyway but this truck is really good it drives well what horn there we go that's the horn and there's the wipers there and yes look they're intermittent so it works well with the patch 1.17 so that's great that is really really great so I love this it is awesome so guys if you would like to see this in the weekly drive you know what to do so go down in the in the comments below and type in yes I would like to see this in the weekly drive or no I would not like to see this in the weekly drive uh, my vote if I have any which I don't is a yes for this one out of all the trucks uh, this one is definitely a yes from me but uh, it's up to you. It's not up to me guys. So if you want to see this then make sure you put a yes or a no in there And that guy is he is gonna let me in. I thought he wasn't uh, Remember if you like this video, then don't forget to share uh, Because sharing is caring share it with your mum share it with your dad share it with the dog share it with the cat share it with your sister share it with your brother Just share it guys because sharing is very important And I know I keep hounding about it in every single video and you're like I've seen you keep telling them about sharing but it's very important guys it really is um, you know we're trying to build a community here with, uh, with lovers of trucks and sort of vehicle simulation and um, we you know want to tell everyone about this uh, so that's why I push so hard with it so but look thank you to everyone who has been sharing I know there has been a lot of you who have been sharing and thank you very very much um, but guys, yes, this is the final submission for the weekly drive. So if you, what you must vote. So well, you don't have to, but you know it's very important that you do vote. Uh, make sure that if you haven't seen the other videos, to go back and check them out. Um, and uh, look, that's pretty much it from me, guys. So look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 10-10 on the side. And remember, game on.
thanks for watching YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we take a sneak peek look at the VW Titan for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Just below that we take an in-depth look at the Viking Legends paint job pack. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers, and remember, GAME ON!